Hello and welcome to Bible Pebbles. I'm glad you could join us today. Today we're going to be looking at King Solomon in 1 Kings. He was the son of David. David was the king of Israel. He was a mighty warrior. He had united Israel together. The people were now one. After David's death, Solomon succeeded him as king. One night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. And he said to him, Ask me anything, and I will give it to you. Solomon said, I am young. I am inexperienced. I don't have leadership skills. I don't know how to judge these people. Help me to be able to judge these people. And so God said, I will give you great wisdom to be able to judge these people. And because you did not ask for wealth or anything like that, I'm going to give you great wealth. But there was a condition. Solomon had to continue following God and continue obeying what God had wanted him to do. Solomon had great wealth and great wisdom. He built a temple for the Lord. It was a beautiful, extravagant temple. David was meant to build it, but because David was a warrior, he couldn't. And so Solomon, when the land was at a time of peace, there was no war, no fighting, he could build the temple. So he did. He built this great extravagant temple. And when he had finished, he said this, The Lord has brought to fulfillment what he promised. And now here I stand, having succeeded my father David to sit on the throne of Israel as the Lord promised. I have built the temple for the name of the Lord God of Israel. And that's in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 20. He built a temple for the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord, the reputation, the fame of God, of the Lord God, the creator of the universe. Here, Solomon had built a temple for his people to come and worship God. It was a representation. This is where God was. It's a place where people, they could come and connect with God and worship him. It was all for God's glory. Solomon built this great extravagant temple for God's glory. Well, Solomon had great fame. He had chariots and horses, thousands of them. He had heaps of gold, a fortune so large, it would be worth in excess of a trillion dollars today. In his fortune, he traded with other countries. And those countries would bring him tribute. They would bring taxes to him. So he had a yearly revenue from these people that he traded with. Silver was nothing to Solomon. People from all around would come and hear his great wisdom. He became famous. Kings and queens would come and see. Kings and queens would come and hear. See Solomon's wealth. Hear Solomon's wisdom. The Queen of Sheba was one of those. She came to hear the wisdom of Solomon. She had heard heard of his great fame, his great reputation. Solomon showed her the temple that he had built for God, the buildings that he had built, the palaces, the fortified cities. He was a great builder. When she saw all his tableware was made of gold, silver was nothing, everything was gold. It was so precious. 
when she saw that, when she saw how his servants were dressed, she was astonished and amazed. What she had heard was true. God had given Solomon great wisdom to be able to judge the people. And he was famous for it. He wrote books of Proverbs. Three of the books in the Bible, Proverbs, Song of Solomon, Ecclesiastes, are written by Solomon himself. He was famous. And Solomon, as king, had a family. He had a huge family. He had over 300 wives, over 300 concubines, and that would have produced a lot of children. It all started with God's glory. Solomon wanting to do things for God's glory. He had fortune. He had fame. He had family. But something happened. His heart changed. The wives that he married were from other cultures. They worshipped other gods, idols. And they turned his heart from the Lord God. From the one that he had built this temple for to give glory to. The one who had given him this wisdom, who had given him the fortune. They turned his heart away from him and the glory became about himself. It wasn't about God anymore. Let me ask you a question. When you do things, do you do it for the glory of God or for yourself? There is a consequence. When we do things for God's glory, we are blessed. When we do things for our own glory, it only ends in destruction. And Solomon discovered this when eventually the kingdom was removed from him. His heart was only half towards God. It started off for white. He started off well, but he didn't finish well. We need to be people that finish well well. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you could join us. Until next time, goodbye.